Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is X-Transbot Master X Series Lock. This is Lock version 2 from what I understand. A representative from X-Transbot reached out to me a couple weeks ago asking if I'd be willing to review this new version of their lock character, which of course, as you can see, is Cup. Apparently their first version was plagued with all kinds of QC issues and they've updated this figure. Now I told the individual, I said, you know, I appreciate the offer, but I am not a masterpiece or big third party guy. I usually have a little bit of issues with these figures. They're just kind of above my skill set, if you will but he likes what I bring to the table as far as reviews, and he was willing to go ahead and send this guy to me so I could check him out, at least give you my first impressions on this figure, you know, a fresh set of eyes from someone who doesn't collect this type of toy. So real quick, let's take a look at the packaging. We've got X Transbots Master X Series 86 MXXI Warrior Lock. I wonder if his name's Lock reference to a uh, lock from lost so we've got cup here with a target master let's see ooh death source right there on the bottom let's see there are still many causes worth sacrificing for so much history to be made so that's kind of neat right there in some chrome writing x trans bots there on the top on the side we've got cup once again with cool logo image and back of the box i love the artwork right here with some tech specs i'm not going to read that but if you want to pause it go right ahead so now without further ado let's go ahead and get this figure opened up out of the packaging and check him out and i want to see what all the fuss is about third party masterpiece figures and welcome to patriot prime reviews <laughs> Now, once you get Lock all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a book of instructions, and these are very well illustrated, and that's all I'm saying about this book of instructions. He also gets two Target Masters, and you get one Target Master for Lock, and this other Target Master is for the X-Transbot Hot Rod figure. And these two, they're all right. I mean, they're little Target Master guys. They almost look like stick figures. They have ball joints and lots of articulation, and the joints are actually fairly tight. I've seen some reviews from the old figure that showed these guys really falling apart, but these seem to be well put together. Now, as far as their weapon mode, there's not much to weapon mode. You just simply fold these guys in half here at the waist, bring the legs up over their head, bring the barrel of the gun forward, flip down the handle, and take the forearms here and peg them up into the hips. And that's pretty much it for the blaster. <laughs> so to be honest, I think Hasbro and their Battlemasters 
did a much better job with the Target Master figures than these X Transbots ones. And this one here for the Hot Rod figure, basically the same thing, just a different style gun. Now Locke also includes quite a few different accessories to change up his look. You get this flat piece section right here, which is actually another top for his head. So you've got a round head or you can go with a flat top look. You also have multiple faces. You have the comic book Cigar face. I believe that's what that's called. So he's smoking his cigar. You've got a angry yelling face. Let's see if I can get that angled better so you can see it. So you've got that one. And you've got, come here, this laughing face. These are hard to get a hold of. Now, these are sculpted really good, but I don't like how the inside of the mouth is white. That should have been a different color, kind of like Masterpiece Megatron's faces. Now, I like the scowling face. I think that looks really good. Really nice cup-looking face sculpt. So let's put cup back over here for a second. He also comes with an extra set of hands. These are larger hands than the ones he has attached to him right now, and these are for wielding the Target Masters. He also comes with a articulated Sharktacon tail, and I really like this. This is awesome. Lots of flexibility, big range of motion, or lots of range of motion, rather. I love this. It's got the handle that most Masterpiece figures have with the two tabs, that actually tab into the palm of his hand, if that wasn't there, I would use this with my Studio Series Gnaw. I love this tail. That's what Hasbro should have done. So that is really, really cool. And he also comes with his blaster. And that's very reminiscent to the Generation 1 toy. Now, just in case you don't know how these work, is the handle here is just like the tail. It just pegs right in. See if I can get that in there. Pegs right into the slot in the palm of his hand. And then you just wrap the fingers around. And there you go. That looks really, really cool. I like that. And then he comes with a trading card. And that's a very thick trading card. Almost feels like plastic. I'd open it up and check it out. But like I said, this is a borrowed figure. So now let's take a look at Locke himself. And my first impressions is, wow, this guy is made really, really well. And he's heavy. His entire lower leg is die cast. I mean, listen to that. This is a solid figure. From some of the other reviews, I saw the first generation of him, the first edition, was a floppy mess. That's not the case with this guy. This is an awesome Transformer. I would love to have more die-cast metal robots in my collection. I already showed the head sculpt off earlier, but there's another look at it. It looks a lot like Cup. I mean, this looks great. Maybe if they sculpted in just a few more lines to kind of break the face up, but still looks great. It is on a ball joint, can look up. It can look down. It can kind of do that little cockeyed. No, I'm wrong. It doesn't have the cockeyed look, but you've got up, you've got down, and a complete 360. Arms up, down. They can also do a complete 360 as well. There is an elbow bend, a dual hinge here at the elbow. Wrist rotation right here. And of course, you saw that the hands are articulated as well. You've got the forefinger and the three other fingers right there, so you can kind of do that pointing look. And here we'll throw in the tail, just because. Have him dual wielding here. So there you go. That's cool. I love that tail. I wish they'd sell these tails separately. Moving on with the articulation, there is a waist rotation. The legs can go forward and back. And listen to that. Gotta love ratchets. There's also, oh, there is a 
Ab Crunch. Too cool, so he can sit and tell old war stories. Legs can also go out and back in. There is a upper th or a thigh rotation here. Looks like a ball joint right there underneath that flap. There is a knee bend. And let's see, no knee rotation. There is an ankle tilt and the toes move. So this, this figure is really impressive as a robot and just how he looks pretty much exactly like Cup from the 1986 movie. I love the looks of this guy and he cleans up really well. There's hardly any kibble whatsoever. And you'll also notice no tires. You don't see the wheels at all for his vehicle mode. And that's quite impressive, the fact they can, whoops, they can hide the wheels there. Old timer, stand up. See, he's very, he's he's weighty. He's It's not he's top heavy at all. You just have to get him just right to stand up just because of the weight here on the legs. There's part of the problem. I didn't have the heel spurs down all the way. So there you go. Once again, topples right over. What is going on? There we go. So yeah, that's that's kind of my fault. I have him more of an at an angle than he should be, but a very solid figure. You know, he fell. Nothing went out of place. I can hold him up like this, even though those legs are heavy. I mean, these are weighted. I mean, I have to really shake it to get them to move. So very impressive with the joints and the ratchets. And aha, he stood up that time. So that's pretty much it for lock in robot mode. And here we have lock in vehicle mode. And oh my God, that transformation was insane. I wanted to do it for you on camera, but I tried over and over again. I got frustrated. I transformed him back into robot mode. And I got to give a huge shout out to fellow YouTuber, Pake for Life. He did a video on this guy and really showed in great detail how to transform him. So I'm sorry I didn't show the transformation, but here's the link to Pake's video. Check it out. It is a great help. So anyway, on to Locke's vehicle mode. As you can see, this is Cup's alt mode, and it looks just like it did in the Generation 1 cartoon or comics. And just like robot mode, this is heavy. It's got some weight to it. Nice die cast. Nice rubber wheels that roll really well. I commented earlier, it was so impressive that those wheels are hid within robot mode. Now, there's some sections I really couldn't get to peg in perfect. So he's got a little bit of gaps, and I'm not a big fan of the back here. This section I couldn't get to attach at all. So it may just be me. Like I said, I'm not used to transforming this type of figure. But my God, this thing is beautiful and chunky. I love it. I mean, I feel like I could really do some damage if I hurled this across the room. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of Cup's vehicle mode, but still, they did a really good job with this. Now, you can also take one of Cup's target masters here, and it will attach to the rear of the vehicle. It's got these little slots for these little pegs right here that go on the slots of either side of cups bed so just peg that in right there so you've got that going on like i said not the biggest fan of those target masters but there's still a nice display option so there you go guys lock in vehicle mode and now for some quick size comparisons, here is X Transbots 86 Warrior Lock with Generation 1 Cup, Titan's Return Cup, and Studio Series 86 Cup. The X Transbots Master X Series Warrior Lock is a very impressive Transformers figure. I love his robot mode. I love the die cast. This is a solid figure. He can take a licking and keep on ticking. I just cannot rave enough about robot mode. I love it, especially with all the different accessories 
and add-on pieces that can really enable you to change up his look. Transformation, I hate the transformation. It's just something I'm not used to with these masterpiece third-party figures. I'm, <laughs> I'm more of the Hasbro guy, but for you masterpiece collectors, I think he's going to prove to be a great challenge for you, and you guys might not mind so much. Vehicle mode, well, I've never been a big fan of Cup's vehicle mode, so it is what it is. So there you go, guys. X Transbots Master X Series Lock. So, does an X Transbots Master X Series Warrior Lock belong in your collection? Well, if you're a masterpiece collector or a Cup fan, absolutely. This is an amazing figure. I Love the heft on this guy. He is just so solid. I feel that if I drop this figure on the floor, the figure wouldn't be damaged whatsoever, but my floor would. He's good. He's solid. Very, very impressive. I mean, when I first took this figure out of the box, I was like, wow. I'm really going to hate to give this guy back because I think he looks amazing and would look awesome on a display shelf. Now, transformation I didn't like whatsoever, and I apologize once again for not showing it, but I do hope you follow the link that I included and check it out because that's how I was able to turn him into vehicle mode. The instructions suck. I couldn't follow those at all. Vehicle mode? Eh, it's Cup's vehicle mode. It's nothing special to write home about. So, all in all, I think this is a really, really good figure for you masterpiece and cup fans you third party guys i think will eat this up great looking figure and a challenge to transform now guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when i upload new reviews also if you're in any position to help out the channel i offer channel memberships here on youtube and i want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members Thanks to your support, you are helping this channel grow. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out.